We're going to show you how to identify eastern coyote trails. For more information, you can visit our website, walnuthilltracking.com. The eastern coyote, Canis latrans, is a member of the wild dog family. And like other wild dogs, it shows four toes in its tracks, both on the front foot and on the hind foot. And like other wild dogs, the negative space between the toes and the heel pads make an X. The uh, nails are fairly robust, and those will sometimes register in the track as well. What distinguishes eastern coyote tracks from other wild dogs is basically two things. For one thing, the coyote has what we call buddy toes. The two inner toes stay together very tightly, pointing almost straight forward. They do not splay out as much as other wild dogs or domestic dog or wolf do. The other thing that's very unique about the Eastern Coyote Track is that it has a generally oval shape, especially on the hind foot. As you can see in these tracks, the heel pad of the front foot is much more robust than the heel pad of the hind foot. What we've done is we've laid down a trail, which is fairly typical for an Eastern Coyote. And an eastern coyote, when it's moving around the landscape, most of the time it's going to move in what we call a direct register trot. And what happens in a direct register trot is a front foot will hit the ground and the hind foot on the same side of the body will land in almost the exact same spot, leaving the impression of only one track on the ground. The coyote, when it's moving around the landscape, is very comfortable in this gait. And the stride or the distance that it's traveling can go anywhere from oh 17 and a half inches to 26 inches or so and Valerie's showing you how to measure a stride here and this one is a little less than 20 inches which is fairly typical or average for an eastern coyote as it's trotting. Another thing that we look at to determine whether or not we have a coyote or some other wild dog is we look at the trail width and Coyote has a fairly straight or narrow trail, anywhere from two and a half to five and a half inches wide. And this particular example we're showing you here is just under five inches. That's fairly typical for a coyote. When you're looking at a coyote trail, one thing that stands out almost immediately is how neat and precise the trail is. And once they're in this pattern, they will travel in this pattern for miles upon miles. And oftentimes when we're tracking coyotes, we'll actually backtrack a coyote trail and suddenly one trail will split into two and we'll realize that we had a pair of coyotes traveling in exactly each other's footsteps for a long, long distance.